hey so I'm in the bathroom because Yeah, we're doing this. I don't know if this is a disclaimer or what, but this is the God honest truth. I don't want to be pregnant. I don't want to have any more kids. There's like 1% of me that does, but like then the other 99% of me is like, girl, are you crazy? So no, I do not want to be pregnant. Not trying to get pregnant. Um, I am not on birth control, but I have been tracking my period, like tracking it and going off of like when I should be ovulating, when I'm probably fertile and avoiding those days. So, and I've been doing that since pretty much since I had the twins and they're two. So currently I am three days late. I don't know why. This is, this is the app that I use. The box is on the day that I should be on my third day of having my period and I am not. And I don't know why because going back, it doesn't add up. Um, I am stressed. I am super stressed. And this doesn't make it any better. But then also, like, the end of last month, I had, like, this weird brown discharge. And then when I looked, Googled it, it was talking about stuff that I did not want to be my reality. But here we are. About to take this. This is from the dollar store. Y'all know I don't do real test and like I said I do not want this to be positive even that one percent of me doesn't want it to be positive and that's just that's just it Being late for your period when you don't want to be late for your period stresses you out even more Because y'all know stress can affect your cycle like that's nothing new But also my period does this weird thing where it switches cycles in January so I was thinking I'm like oh is it like it didn't do this in 2022 January so I'm like well is it doing it now like what the fuck because like I said the math ain't mathing up I track stuff so it just doesn't make sense It, it wouldn't make sense. It's crazy, like what do you do in these cases? Like, what? Oh man. And I'm not like, no nausea like I was nauseous but I had tonsillitis and um, that's one of the symptoms and it was just like for a day um, other than that I'm there like there's no signs you know <sighs> 45 
45 seconds left. <sighs> Somebody needs to get slipped. <laughs> I cannot be going through this. The plan always was for Babe to, you know, get fixed since I done gave birth to five of his biological babies back to back to back. I mean, I think that I went through enough, but you know, men are freaking babies. It's right here. I have a receipt over it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to look away. No! Oh my! You, there's no way. Oh my God! What the fuck? You cannot be serious. This cannot be right. This. This cannot be right. <sighs> what? Oh my god. What? What? Hold on. Are you sure? When? How is this possible? <sighs> I'm fucking shaking. Okay. This, this cannot be right. Like, this cannot be right. There, there's no way. There is no way. How? Like, what? So, yesterday ended abruptly. Um, ended up going with Babe to Walmart last night and purchasing a clear blue, as clear as day. It was positive. So, I 
don't even know where my like my thoughts are just like all over the place because in my mind I was done like like I've said, I, I, I know I said yesterday, you know, 1% of me, yeah, but like 1% out of 100%, 1%, like is not enough for me to go ahead and be like, okay, yeah, let's do it, you know? So my feelings and my thoughts are, they're just all over the place and it's ironic that there's infant car seat in the back I babysit my best friend's baby who is what he's three months three and a half months old now so um, he was with me today and he'll be with me tomorrow so that's why the car seat is in the back but yeah. oh man I celebrated this is the last time I'm gonna breastfeed. This is the last time I have to wean. This is, you know, I get to sleep and I get to have my body back. Guys, I just started going to the gym and having the motivation to go to the gym. <laughs> I can only sit back and laugh because it's like, what the fuck I'm not ready for it and recording all this is even weirder but the thing is is that I know for a fact that I'm not the only person like that that maybe who's had these feelings and I just I was able to schedule an appointment with a provider, but that appointment is until the end of the month. So, I'm having a hard time because I don't know how to feel. And, you know, there's always that, oh, you know, Babies are a blessing, and I know that. And then with recording this and potentially potentially uploading this one day, I know there are people who are struggling, who wish they can be in my position, who wish, you know, that that test was positive, but that wasn't me. I, I wasn't hoping I honestly I just thought that it was gonna be negative I was not expecting it to be positive and that may sound crazy because you said you were three days late yes but a female's body is so crazy that any little thing can trigger your period to be late other than just pregnancy and it's happened in the past and I've you know I've jumped the gun and then there's the people that'd be like, well, you know what happens when you have unprotected sex. And it's just like, yeah, we get that. Like, it's a risk that you take. I understand that. But we were doing things to prevent that. And yeah, I wasn't on birth control and we're not using condoms. He's my fiance. He's going to be my husband. We have five kids together. For those of you that are confused, Ariana is not biologically his. <sighs> but we were doing things to prevent that. And it's been working for the past two years. And so to get this outcome right now when it doesn't even make sense. Like, like it doesn't make sense. It's just a punch in the gut. <laughs> you know and I'm sorry if that might sound mean or ungrateful or I don't know how other people will take it but my reality is that I I'm not ready for this I 
didn't want to be ready for this and I didn't want this. But also, at the same time, I'm a 35 year old woman who's going to be married, who's got six kids. What do I look like? And I'm not holding anything against anyone, but I know for myself, my mental state, I could not go the route of getting an abortion and adoption is not an option because there's no way in hell that I can go through a whole pregnancy and then just give my baby to anyone else. Not saying that it, there's anything wrong with that, just me, I cannot. But then there's that part of me that's afraid, like, am I gonna be, like, am I gonna, like, resent this baby? Am I gonna, like, am I gonna bond with this baby? Am I gonna get happy about this? Because, unfortunately, right now, I'm not really happy about it. I don't know. Honestly, just so confused and not really sure how to feel, not really sure how to be happy. I'm just going to assume that once I go to that first appointment and have the Sano, hear the baby's heartbeat, then I don't know, I guess that'll just make it real enough for me to just accept and it is what it is. It's supposed to be, you know, how else can I take it? Everything happens for a reason. And this situation, there's nothing different about this situation other than it was unplanned. I know in the long run that I'm going to be able to come to terms with this and it'll be just as a blessing as all the rest but I think it might take a little bit longer for me to get there um, and I believe that that's okay because like I said everything happens for a reason and God doesn't give you more than what you can handle and I think that's what's carrying me right now. That's why I'm not like in shambles and I don't know. I just think that that's a motto that I have always kind of lived by with the circumstances and things that's gone on in my life. It's pretty much because it's supposed to happen. It's going to be, it's gonna serve a bigger purpose, I guess. But that doesn't mean that I'm scared. I'm not scared shitless because last lever was crazy and I don't want to go through that again. I'll be 36 um, when this baby is going to be due, I believe. Well, obviously, because we're in October, so yeah, I'll be 36 and for 
36 year old, you know, everything is more dangerous. 